Welcome to my knee guide. Let me introduce you to Mary's knee. Mary has recently undergone knee replacement surgery. This x-ray was taken two weeks following her procedure. Let's see what Mary's knee looked like before surgery. Her left knee has a significant knock knee deformity. Her left hip is even turned inward to try to compensate for her arthritic knee. Here is the x-ray of Mary's whole left leg. As I draw a straight line from her hip to her ankle, notice how Mary's knee sits significantly to the inside of this line. Before she had developed arthritis, Mary's knee was positioned directly through this line. The years of arthritis have caused her knee to move out of normal alignment. Here is a closer look at Mary's knee before surgery. When I apply her x-ray on top of her leg, her arthritis starts to become more apparent. She has significant joint space narrowing on the outside of the knee leading to her knock knee deformity. Let's review Mary's standing x-ray in more detail. The top bone is the thigh or femur bone. The bottom bone is the shin or tibia bone. The knee is a hinge joint where these two bones meet together. In Mary's knee, there is a loss of cartilage with the development of bone spurs called osteophytes. See what happens when Mary bends her knee slightly and we take another x-ray. Watch by the arrow on the outside of her knee. The arthritis becomes even more pronounced. The space between the bones has become completely obliterated with severe bone-on-bone -bone contact. There's also a worsening of the angular deformity of the knee. Let's watch this again. Mary tried multiple conservative measures before considering knee replacement. These included the use of a brace, injections, and therapy. Here is Mary's leg two weeks after surgery. Her leg is still swollen and she has some normal bruising. Let's move forward to three months after her surgery. Her incision is now well healed and her swelling has resolved. Mary can now walk without pain and the surgery has straightened her knee. Let's review her preoperative picture once again. The difference between the before and after is dramatic. Now let's look at Mary's full length postoperative x-ray laid on top of her leg. Her knee now sits in a straight line that is drawn from her hip to her ankle. Here is a closer look at her knee. I can then place the postoperative x-ray on top of her leg. Let's review the x-ray in more detail. This is the new metal component on the femur. Here is the new metal component on the tibia. Notice how the space on the inside and outside of the knee is now equal. That space is occupied by a special plastic called polyethylene. Here is the side view of Mary's leg when she is lying down two weeks after surgery. Let's place the x-ray of the new knee replacement on her leg. Notice that the swelling from surgery prevents her knee from getting completely straight. Now we can look at the standing side view of her leg after her healing has completed. Here is Mary's x-ray laid on top. She can now stand with her knee fully extended and her flexion has returned to normal. Mary's knee no longer limits her life. Her knee function has significantly improved and she is able to return to her favorite activities including bike riding and golf. Mary's surgeon has been with her every step of the way, just as my knee guide will be with you.